Hello Rust developers and welcome to another gazebo in 5 minutes video provided by The Construct, a channel about Rust. I am Marco Arruda and in this video you will learn how to visualize a given robot model using Arvis, the graphical tool. But before anything else, remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you find practical online Rust courses using simulated robots. No installation is required and you'll find a link to the academy on the video description. Now let's start with the video. So I have a new project created here for this video number H and I'm going to open it. And basically this time we have to create and configure properly a launch file to launch Arvis and visualize our robot model. Okay, so I have here in my IDE. Uh, I have created the only difference between this project and the previous one, the one that we have used in the previous video, is this Arvis launch file, okay? It's quite simple launch file and we're using uh, a very look like command to use to get the robot description and this is what I'm going to explain now. So we're not going to use the URDF model this time because we're, we're just using the same file as the previous uh, video okay so we can check in the simulation let's open the simulator and open a terminal uh, the thing is that Arvis is very useful tool when you are creating your robot model okay so you don't use you don't test a robot model using the simulation directly we have to test the robot model in order to check if the URDF description is correct or if you have errors between links and joints, something we're going to learn in the next video. Uh, we don't use to debug it using simulator, okay? We have to debug it using Arvis. It's much better to debug and see if there are errors and to see what has to be improved or not in the robot model, okay? So I'm going to just launch the robot in the simulator so we can visualize it again. Let's hide the simulation log. Okay, so this is the robot model. I have changed it quite, uh, just a small change in the box size. It's okay, no problem there. And now we have the robot being spawned in the simulation, but let's see how to do this in Arvis. So we have the same parameter of the robot description. We have to add this parameter in the Arvis launch file. Okay, so we have here the same parameter. I'm gonna copy and paste here below. And as you can see, it's the same command. We are using Chakro to identify and convert the URDF file to URDF. Actually, this is URDF already, but in the future we're gonna use Chakro. This is why you're using this command here, okay? And then we have to send joint values that's why we are using joint publisher but it's not going to be useful right now because we don't have any joints in the robot we're going to have in the future okay and the next node we're opening here is robot state publisher because when we have nodes we we want to track the movement of these nodes that's why you have to use robot state publisher because we're we have to publish somehow the state of the joints of the robot okay and finally we're open we are opening Arvis. It's quite simple. It's like this. Rust run. Arvis. Arvis. Okay. Uh, so that's why we have here package Arvis. And the type of executable is Arvis as well. And the name you can put whatever you want here. But let's keep Arvis. Just to... It makes more sense. Okay. So let's launch this file. And in the meantime, let's open in... Let's open the graphical tools because Arvis, uh, we don't have a web application for Arvis directly, but we have graphical tools where you can see any graphical tools that you open in your desktop. Okay, so we have just an empty desktop here. Let's launch our file. So we have my robot description. Instead of launch, we're going to launch Arvis.launch file. Let's wait a few seconds. And we can, you can see that we have RVs here. Okay, great. So in order to visualize the robot, you can use double cl click on the top bar to maximize it. Okay. 
and then you have to add in Arvis robot model in order to visualize your robot model okay and we have an error here because the fixed frame is defined as map but there is no map frame in the robot instead we have uh, let's check the URDF model the only link we have is link chases so this is what we have to define there so for the fixed frame link chases enter and there it is we have our robot model everything's checked here and this is how you can check that your your URDF model is defined properly okay so I hope it can help you that's all for today uh, did you like the video if you did please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a notification about our videos we are publishing videos about ROS every day. Either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. See you!